I grew up in Tokyo. Uh, my mom's Japanese and my dad's Chinese. I grew up at an international school and then we grew up in Japan for 13 years until my dad's job changed so he had to move to Singapore and so that's how I ended up in Singapore when I was in seventh grade. I grew up at an American school so I wasn't as fluent as like the native Japanese students so sometimes they made fun of me because they knew I like went to an international school instead of their public schools and because sometimes I wouldn't know exact words. That kind of affected me when I was growing up. Even though the national language was English, I still felt really, really out of the loop and I really didn't feel like I fit in. And to this day I really don't because I moved there so recently that it's hard to think that that's my home right now. And also over the summer when I was growing up we had a place in Hawaii and that was still different from the US because it's far from the mainland states but it still felt very different from the culture I was growing up in, but at the same time I felt more at home in the U.S. because it was very similar to the culture I was growing up w like within the school because all my friends were American, so I felt really comfortable in the U.S. And actually I moved to the U.S. when I was a sophomore in high school because I went to boarding school as well. And I, I really had no idea what like U.S. stereotypes or cultures were. I didn't know being preppy or even Greek life was something really big in the South. The smallest things were like big differences for me when I came here. Um, I knew when I started theater in about seventh grade um, as a summer course just for fun, but then it started becoming really serious and it was, it was really fun and I really wanted to do it for the rest of my life. There are a lot of people who go to Elon right now who graduated from my high school, so they recommend me to Elon theater, so I want to sing and dance and act and all that. Um, hopefully my plans would be to get an agent so that they can introduce me to specific shows I'd be right for, um, but also I'd be really interested in like TV and film and straight plays and anything really. I would just like to do something within the performing arts. I feel like I came into the program being not like average but having a good grasp in singing, acting and dancing. That since there are people here with strengths, I don't feel like one of the three can be my strongest just because some other people are a lot better than me. Um, but I feel like I have a good grasp of all three. And if anything, I feel like acting is my strongest just because I can really be myself. And it's not a judgmental like thing. Like, you know, because singing you can judge because you can hear it. And same with dancing because you can see it. But acting is really more personal and about like people's personalities and individualities. So I really like that because I can just be myself and everyone's work is different. So there's no good or bad or strong or weak.